cow, guys. Just got to the parents' house. Look at this tower of power of stuff that we have to move. It's not just this stuff right here. Oh no, it goes back. So it's all this stuff, you guys. Then it comes back here. All of that. Then all of this. Obviously all of that. And then this stuff right here, you guys, this is my section. So from here to there, all that is my section. That's the stuff I gotta move. This is a ton of stuff that we gotta move. Ooh, I can hear someone coming. There's dad in the U-Haul. <laughs> wow, that thing is huge. This is actually kind of a cool fact that you guys may not have known. Papa Bingham used to drive a 18-wheeler when he was a kid. Hello, buddy. <laughs> well, this is what you're doing. What's up, truck driver? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they never do it. They do it for the kids. We bring them, baby, right here. <laughs> we go. Oh my gosh, watch this. Really? So, Jerry bought these for us on Amazon. Awesome. That's like the size of one pillow. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, you guys keep getting the heavy stuff. <laughs> here, here, Jerry. Catch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next time they come in, we're just going to relax like this. <laughs> Okay, come on in, guys. Thank you. How's the pillow going, guys? You guys got that? I think that's about like four or five pillows worth for sure. Yeah, including the shrink wrap or the vacuum in there. Alright, guys, we're making some progress. All these boxes are now moved into the truck. We still got furniture out here. They're gonna try to figure out how to pack it into the truck. All right, so this is all full, ready to go. We got Brandon back in this truck up. Guys, look how full this is. Full yeah, to the sure. brim, baby. Jerry, where are your pillows in there, dude? <laughs> oh, wait, I see them. There they are. Right up there. Yeah. <laughs> crazy to see how empty it is in here. I've never seen it this empty before. Obviously I was too young when they moved in, but it's just crazy. The house is totally empty. All the stuff has been moved out. We're still working on a few furniture items, but like here's our office. I've never seen our office this empty before. Obviously we still got the map on the wall. Actually, I would love to take that map because it'd be fun to like mark down all the places that Brittany and I have been, but guys, it's just such a weird feeling. Like everything's gone. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna measure ourselves right now where we stand today in 2019 as compared to throughout our childhood. You can see you still got the markings here everywhere of all of the different heights at different ages. I mean, this thing goes all the way down to last year for Sean. And then, <laughs> you guys don't know the family joke. Sean is the shortest at like 6'1", which is a very decent height. In our family, he's the shortest. So we make jokes that he needs a bumble to drive. Jared, who's five years younger than me, was at the same height as me on the same day. Jared, if you don't know, is by far the tallest of the family. Bare feet. No tippy toes, Sean. Right there is your accurate height. Oh. And do it again, Mom. We went down okay. a little bit. There we, we are, right? We need to drew it. Okay. Right there. Okay. Well, okay, wait. Let's see. How many too many do I have? Okay. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> Five, eight, and two thirds. You grew a third of an inch since you were 15, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Where are you? Here you go. We are so proud of you. We're so proud of you. <laughs> Six feet exactly, it says here. It's perfect what he's doing. Right here? Oh, oh, I'm on over six two. Six two and a bit. Oh, yeah, okay. six two and a tiny bit, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, we have. Accurate. Okay, mark a little mark right there. No, that's good. Okay. Where was that? It's like right there. <laughs> that is remarkable. Now, 
They do say with age, you sometimes tend to. <laughs> okay, we actually put the pencil way down. Okay. <laughs> hey, put your, your heel. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Dude, you are way taller than me, dude. That is crazy. Okay, let's measure. Jerry's not that much taller than me, is he? Yeah. All right, there you go. There you go. That's it. I'll get to the screen frame and. <laughs> all right, guys. So we got all the stuff packed up, ready to go. We have a couple more trips to do, but right now we're going to take the stuff that we do have over to the storage unit. Daniel and Justin are going to meet us over there, and they're going to unload everything and do it all over again. Alright guys, just got here. As you can see, we got the trucks all lined up. Justin's here, so is Daniel. Looks like they've already started unloading it. If we're not back in, well ever, come find us. A little bit further, faster. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have seen that YouTube about the magic coffee table. Well, this is the magic elevator. <laughs> Honestly, truly, you guys, it was packed with these boxes. Basically, whatever we put in here comes up empty. Yeah, we'll make it. <laughs> I was just talking about how this is called the magical elevator because whatever we put inside of it comes up empty. Here's how it becomes empty, people. <laughs> <laughs> Working hard. So as you guys can see, we have Daniel filming Michelle while Michelle is clearly struggling with a really tough... <laughs> you don't want to help them too soon. You want to let them struggle a little bit. That way, when they grow up, you know, they've learned some life lessons. Go for six feet. Nice, sis! So Daniel, you guys, has been doing most of the work because you got here. <laughs> actually, I think Shell is because I'm videoing Shell a little bit, but yeah, yeah she actually, left, so now I have to work. I have to say this, though, about Daniel, you guys. I don't know if you've seen our family picture video. The quality of work that Daniel does, you guys, is like next level. Seriously, it's so, so good. Well, thanks. I enjoy it. <laughs> I was telling Brandon that we both need to step up our game because he is just setting the bar way too high. <laughs> you guys are too kind. Too, too kind. <laughs> so the Pillow Squad. We're now gonna empty my stuff out of Sean's truck. Oh. It's more solid than it looks. <laughs> As you guys can see, we don't have much stuff. Luckily, this thing is plenty big enough for us and plenty tall, so we can stack it up really high. Jared, this is called the dog cast, so <laughs> instead of sleeping on the sofa, this is where you're gonna be going, so take a look at it. Hey, you know what? Since we live in such a small apartment, this is the perfect man cave for me. It's perfect! <laughs> yeah, you can tell everybody now that you have a two-bedroom place. Not just a one-bedroom, a two-bedroom. <laughs> Yeah, what is the size of this thing, Pops? 10 by 20. Wow. 10 by 20. No, 10, 10 by 15. So we have two, so we have uh, 10 by 60, really. We have two 10 by 15s, that's 10 by 60. <laughs> <laughs> So this one is totally full, you guys, but this one is completely empty, other than the boxes you see there. So we got plenty of space for the patio furniture. This is the proper way to get the thing back. <laughs> Who is steering this? I got it. Yeah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, 
Jared's broken anything that was valuable, so <laughs> we're sending him home. Actually, we're done. Well, sorta. Of. We're done now, and second, we're glad to be done. The second shift is coming on right now. But I am going home. We need to go home. been here the whole day. Yeah, they, I've been here since two. Really, truly overtime for you. So let's Thank see. Thank you we're, for your help. We're paying you zero, so we're doing time and a half, so that's zero and a half. There you go. It is, actually, it's pretty cool though, you guys. Your entire 30 years of your house fits inside this yes, truck. Yeah.